Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm going to sort some photo cards today because I've accumulated quite a stack of them over the past like month or a few months actually and it's getting to the point where I need to put them away because it's just getting a little bit uh, ridiculous now. Um, I also want to apologise if the lighting's weird or like the sound's weird. I'm filming in a different location um, to what I've been filming in before just so I can actually get these in frame um still haven't got a tripod but you know whatever anyway um let's just go so this is the chapter one ot7 binder i've got a few bits to put in here not much um i don't really love this binder at the minute i don't know what it is i've got something as far out i'll sort that out after um yeah, I don't really love this binder um, at the minute, but uh, I, I do want to try and sort things out. So this is the RT7 uh, compact card. And yeah, um, I, <laughs> I was a bit silly and ordered the new Prism Platinum My Universe binder, the, like the purple one that they've released it for for um bts's 10th anniversary i was like do you know what yeah i'll have that i don't know what i'm gonna do with it <laughs> i might uh rearrange some of these things because i don't know i feel like i've got too much in here already which is a bit silly um but yeah so that's gonna get to me at some point i don't know when uh so here's Jin's card finally get rid of that don't want to keep that in my order I don't know maybe um yeah these two I pulled these two um when I first got the album oh a funny story actually about this card I bought four copies of um the proof compact edition and I pulled this postcard every single time he would not leave me alone <laughs> like <laughs> I mean just uh went to show like how my life was going to turn out um just this man wrecking me every opportunity he gets but it's all good <laughs> and so proof is done um oh I did um get rid of tears I gave it to him, him to my friend uh because she buys his tear and I thought realistically I'm not gonna collect the other members for this even though they're really cute they're really nice like um pieces of merch do we call them merch I don't know um but yeah for me I just realistically I'm not gonna collect the other members uh and that's okay and she will appreciate him and love him even more than I do and could so that's that's what counts. Um, I'm going to skip straight to here, which is like the tour stuff, um, and put these yet to come stickers over there. Again, I don't know if I like this order, but um, that's. They look alright there for now, I think. Um, I have like changed this a little bit since my first um, flip through. Um, I taped these down. I think I've put them in like different sleeves. Still don't really like it, but I added some pink card to the back of this just to make it look a bit, a bit nicer. Uh, again, not one hundred percent sure, but it's like the weird size cards are just are a nightmare. Um, and then we're gonna go to membership because I finally got my um whatever number this membership kit was is it the ninth or, mm, I don't know but yeah I finally got these and I'm really happy that I finally got them so I can finally put them away I did already put the pages in so save me a bit of time Yeah, 
But yeah, there's been so much happening lately. Like, even today, the day that I'm filming it, I woke up to, like, so many notifications. And, like, Jesus Christ. Um, like, Tay had just done his... The Tiny Desk uh, concert, just concert performance just come out. So I'm going to watch that later. Um, more music shows he's been doing. Um, JK posting another video. Uh... I'm not going to talk about that back photo because, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, we've, again, finally, Tay's album is out, um, which I have here. So this is the version that I ordered, the green one. I only got one for now, but I do want to collect the other photo cards like that came with uh, each version because they're really cute. And this packaging is absolutely adorable like all this written on the side like yes i'm the <laughs> so cute and like yeah i'm sure everyone's seen well maybe everyone's seen it by now but um the inside is just so cute <laughs> like i can't get over it like everything about it is it's like so him as well. I love this like little checklist. I don't know if I'll actually use it, but um, yeah. So I've already took like the postcards and the photo cards out of here, but this is so nice. Just everything, like yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna go to that uh, now. Actually, I'm gonna switch to my. Chapter 2 binder because I have got a fair amount to put in there. I'll just try and um, sort this out. Oh god. It's such a mess. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got this as like a cover page. Um, So I got these little stickers off an artist that I really like. Um, I'll link their stuff below. I did get a few bits from them. Like I got a couple of prints and a little key ring. Um, but yeah, I just thought this would be nice as a cover page. Um, I was going to put them in a nine pocket, but I've run out of nine pocket pages, uh, which is kind of silly. But yeah, so that's chapter one, OT7 binder, updated for now. And then we'll go to chapter two. Um, like I said, I've got a fair amount to put in here. Um, I'm going to start off with the beyond the story photo cards i think put these as a cover page um i'm not really sure because i i suppose technically they are like end of like chapter one but i don't really love the idea of putting them in my chapter one binder just because i don't like the like the way mine's organized at the minute but I'm going to leave them in here for now because I think it'll be a nice way to start off this binder and I don't have a cover page at the minute. So, yeah, uh, I don't know if everyone's seen these by now, um, but here they are, I'll just go through them. It's nice that they've got the, like, both, both of their names on the card as well. They are really thin though and they're like, edit his mall out, why did they edit his lip mall out? <laughs> Did anyone else notice that? Anyway. Has everyone finished reading uh, Beyond the Story by now? Um, I finally finished it um, the other week. Uh, and it's, like I said in one of my other videos, it's just so nice to like hear things from their perspective and have like more context to stuff. Um, I don't know where I put this. Uh, yeah, I'll put that there for now and then I'll um, make another filler put there, I think. Oh, these are so wonky. I do need to double sleeve these, I think. <laughs> but I'll do that another day when I'm not filming it because that's probably just like really boring to watch. Um, so, moving on to Jack in the Box. Um, I've got the Hope Edition. Uh, again, have it here. So, really excited to have this. I'm really happy that 
he decided to bring out a physical version. Um, not so happy that like there's something about like his um thank you like in the translation where it basically like hinted at that I don't know, like he felt pressure to like bring this out, which is kind of kind of sad. Um, even though like like I remember when like this first came out like the um digital like the Weverse version there was like so much noise about it um saying that like it wasn't a real album and all stuff from like solos and that um which was really sad because um in his Sushita um video like he said that like this was his plan and like he planned it all along but to know that like he heard all that like noise and negative negativity is like uh it's just bums me out yeah. um, but anyway uh so these are the cards that i got this is the little magnet pre-order benefit i'm not really sure where i'm going to put it to be honest i can't really put it on the um on the family fridge <laughs> Uh, but these are the ones, the cards that I got. So cute. This is the transparent one, and that's just uh, it that was like that. That was like the backing card for it. So, um, well, I can get rid of that because I don't have the vinyl. Because Amazon cancelled my order. So yay, that's fun. Um. I think I'll just do them like this for now. Again, I do want to get the um the other cards, but um I haven't got round to it. I think I'm gonna be on like kind of a buy and ban <laughs> for now. Um I think I'll do this like that. Just for the time being. Yeah, so there's Jack in the Box. It's looking better. It's looking nice. I'm glad this is like filling out more. Um, again, I will get the other cards. I'll put that back there just so I remember. But yeah, like I just said, probably going to be on a slight buying ban um, for the time being uh, because there's like I'm anticipating like something from JK like the back half of the year, <laughs> and I'm going to go all out for that. Like I know I said I was going to go all out for Yungi, I kind of did, but I actually mean it with JK. <laughs> like I will need to be restrained. I think. Oh. Um, this is new. I've put um, Namjoon's Indigo cards in here just so they're going to be all with the Chapter 1 stuff uh, when I eventually get them. And we have one tiny, tiny Jimin. Finally got the last random card for him. I don't know why there was already a sleeve in there, but... Yeah, normally I like double sleeve stuff, but I can't really be bothered to do that. And I, because I need to cut like sleeves down, and that's just not interesting to watch. Um, and so I'm gonna skip Diva and go here. Um, so this, what's this? Oh, um. I got a few replica cards actually. Um I'm not like uh too precious about like replica cards or I have like no issue with getting them, especially for like more expensive things. But I saw someone was selling the or making the replicas of the Festa photo cards. Um because these real ones are going for like stupid amounts like on Macari so I thought I'd get some of these um, but they were also 
having oh they'd also made sorry little cards for jk for seven from this like really nice uh weverse interview article that came out like these four are absolutely gorgeous and i thought i want to get the replica of the broadcast card and put in here and just have these to like if i have something to represent seven because the shirt photo card is going to go in my jk binder so i can't really just have like one card like hanging out here it look a bit look a bit weird uh yeah so these are the, the cards i love this one and this one <laughs> i love them all actually but yeah the cards are really nice um they're just matte they're quite quite sturdy um these are the backs and that is the etsy shop that i got them off I'll like link them below as well. Um, they're like slightly smaller than normal photo cards, and the corners are like more rounded, but it's fine. Um, so, how many cards have I got here? Six. So I just thought I'm gonna put them in here. Just make a little page for seven. Just have something to, you know, can't leave them out of this binder. Especially like he's got his own, but I can't leave them out of this one. I would sleeve these, but I might go back and sleeve them. I just can't really be can't really be bothered to do that at the minute. Um, yeah, so I think I'll have it like this, and then have the broadcast replica in the middle, and then like a couple of fillers either side. Um, but uh, what should we do? So I've got. Uh, Lay over, I've got tears next. So, these are the two postcards that came with the album. So gorgeous. Like, there's so many photos. Like, he's done so many different photo shoots for this album. Like, it's insane. Um, so, let's go back on here. I think, um, my favourite songs from Layover are Love Me Again and For Us. Like just but the whole album in general, just like listening it from like start to finish is just oh, like the way that they just all transition so smoothly into each other and especially like the transition from For Us into the like the slow dance and piano version. It's just mwah, perfect, beautiful, incredible. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so here's the photo cards from the green version. Like, so cute. Like, is this Tan or is this the other dog from the um, the video? <laughs> like, I don't know. I think it's Tan. But, oh my god. So beautiful. Um, I really want to collect, like, the other cards in this concept, this outfit, because this is, like, so my my style like i absolutely love it he looks so good in this um there's only five cards in here so i don't know how i'm gonna like display this nicely um but it's such an odd number of cards as well <laughs> well not odd but there's like there's so many for each version like the weverse version as well um I might do it like this for now. Yeah, maybe. Don't know. Um, there's also his letter here as well. Um, I'll see if I can um link to like a translation of it, or I don't know if like other people <laughs> like already translated it themselves. I uh, don't know where I put this. This on the back maybe. I think that looks okay. Yeah. And then, oh yeah, the backs of these are so cool as well. Like like a movie ticket. Um, And there's like, he's like written things on it. It's just so cute, it's just so adorable. <laughs> like he's so adorable. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, really loving Layover. Um, 
it's so good. It's, um, I can't believe like all of them have had like a solo release now. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Oh, so I ran out of nine pocket pages actually, which is kind of stupid. Um, so I'm going to put these um, Festa replicas like on the back of this, I think. Um, but yeah, so here they are. Here's Namjoon, Jin, Yoongi. Where is Yoongi? I miss him so much. Hobby. Jimin looking adorable in his like pink jumper. Tay and JK. Like, shout out to Big Hit for giving us like the HD photos uh, for, for Festa. Yeah, this is the back. This is the. Like the fan made back. I don't know what the backs of the real ones look like. Um, so, yeah. I'm just going to put these in. Yeah, there they are. The, again, they're a bit wonky, but I'll go back and like sort it out properly when I'm not filming. Because I feel like I'm always like rushing to do this for some reason. But yeah, so that is the chapter two binder for now. Um, we're all up to date until the next release. Um, so I've still got more, <laughs> still got some like uh, JK, Jin and Yoongi cards to get through. So I'm going to do that right now. So on to the Yoon Jin binder. I've got a fair few uh, cards to put away, um, actually. So let's see. Um, yeah, I've got this, this Yoongi, ah, that's so good, I'm so happy that I've got those cards now, yeah, looks so pretty, um, what else, I've honestly forgot what I've bought, um, because it's been that long since I've, uh, uh, put things away. I've got quite a few gin cards actually, which is nice. I'm missing them quite a lot, as always. Um, yeah, so we've finished tier for gin. So that's good, that's exciting. No, I've took the wrong card out there. Got way ahead of myself. is complete. That's good. That makes me happy. Um, oh, I can't remember which version this is. <laughs> yeah, I think that's right. That's version four. Version two. Like I said, I always get these cards mixed up because, like, they all look so similar. <laughs> it's so stupid. Um, not the cards, it's me getting them mixed up as stupid. Um, yeah, so... Okay. Only missing a couple more from them, so that's good. Oh. Finally. Finally finishing Map of the Soul for both Yoonjin. Um, spoiler for <laughs> another card I've got to put away. Oh, there we go. That's so nice. I'm really happy about that because Map of the Soul is like uh, one of my favourite albums, if not my favourite album um, of theirs. And I just love, I love the concepts for it, like these two especially my favourite and they just look so adorable here and like this this Yoongi just don't even talk to me <laughs> yeah nice um this is a bit of a odd one because I haven't put a page in here because I'm stupid um 
hold on, I'm gonna have to go and get another page. Okay, I've got my got my other page. because uh, I wasn't planning on getting the um B pre order bonus yet, but I found it for a really good price and I was like, I can't I can't just ignore him. I can't leave him. Um so yeah, I've got the essential random very cute and then I'll put in there and then just get some fillers in here the good thing about this I can just like take the tape off and well it's ripped it off but um this is only like a wallpaper sample so it's not like not as if I have to be precious about it, you know. I mean using washi tape would have been better but whatever, you know, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so got more space for B, so that's alright. And then we've got I can't remember which one. This is power station, I think. Yes, it is. Nice. Just oh, these ones. Are just, these these ones are just haunting me, especially the Yungi one, especially because he's just absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and finally. Finally got the butter pre-order bonus. Don't know why it took me so long to get him, but he's finally here. Finally have him. I'm so happy. Let me go in there. Oh, nice. Really happy about that. Um, and then I have one more card to go in here. And it is Yungi's Dida card holder lanyard thing absolutely gorgeous i got the um the premium photo as well just stunning absolutely gorgeous like it's on my shelf just staring at me like <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful so yeah he's just gone in there that's nice yeah all right um some nice updates for that binder um again still a lot of space to fill up in there but that's a work in progress probably going to be a slow work in progress um but never mind it's okay so now i've only got jk's binder to do and there's a few to go in there so let's just keep going there we are, last binder update for this video. I think this is like going to be a kind of long one, so I'm sorry if this is like running really long. Um, I have got um, a few updates here. I did rearrange stuff and put new pages in, but this is the key ring that I was on about. Um, so if you can see, look, it's shiny, like holographic stars. So cute. I just thought I'd put that in there, you know. Um, yes, yeah, so I have got these um these are the new pages that i was on about that i'd ordered from prison platinum um they do these like three pocket pages with like the long bit on the side so i think this is like really nice for like the older cards because they're just so bloody awkward <laughs> but got a little baby jk in there cute i do need to go back and race like double sleeve these ones because they will move about a lot and that will annoy me. Um, so, I finally got his last tier card. There we go. Nice. Look at that. This, again, the vision is coming together. I'm going to be so satisfied when this is all like filled in and there's no gaps. <laughs> and then I'm going to skip to do this DVD page. Um, so I've got his memories ones. So there, 2019. 
and 2021. Yeah. Nice. No idea what I'm going to put there. Um, but that's okay. I'm going to try and like not to buy more um, DVD cards or Blu-ray cards um, for the time being. Like I said, feeling these albums on the way. Because what's he up to? Like, I have no idea. But he's ruining my life. Um, really excited that he's getting to perform at that um, Global Citizen. Um, I think it's next week for at the, as the time I'm filming this. Yeah, so that's like... I can't believe he's doing that. Um, and like all the um, magazine covers that he's doing, like that dazed cover, like, ugh. Um, I am waiting for that magazine to get to me. Like it should be arriving today, like as I'm filming it. Um, so oh, what else? Yeah, um, deco kit, JK. Nice. Um, finally. Got that. I weirdly never thought I'd own this card because you know what JK's pricing's like. Um, just, but yeah, I'm so happy with that. Like with the, yeah, really satisfying. And only a few more ago, and it's just the tour size merch one. So his um. Put that in there. And then these high bin sight ones. Yeah. Nice. Looks so good. Now I've just got to get one more and like fill up that gap for now. Um this binder is really full already. I know it wasn't long ago since I like showed it off, but boy, have I been filling it up. <laughs> but it's all right. Um, so yeah, that is gonna be it for today. Um, I'll just leave it on this page, I think. Um, been a bit of a long one, so if you made it through to the end, thank you so much for watching and sticking with me for this one. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, try to think if there's anything major that I need to mention um I don't think so oh actually Namjoon's live yesterday incredible amazing um him just saying that BTS paved the way like laughing being like sure why not amazing iconic <laughs> BTS paved the way <laughs> that's funny but that's true for sure why not? Love him. Um, but also, like, some of the other stuff he was saying was, like, <laughs> really deep, <laughs> as always with Namjoon. Um, yeah, that was just, that was a really nice surprise for him to do yesterday. Um, I think that's about it for today. Um, yeah. So, finally got my binder sort and update done. Um, not sure what I'm going to film next or when I'll film something next um probably when there's like another release um fingers crossed there's something soon because there's like rumors of um the permission to dance dvd coming out um which I would love to see um but yeah I think that's going to be it for today so once again thank you for watching if you enjoyed it please like uh comment if you want to uh subscribe if you want to and I will see you again soon. Bye. I thought I'd just add this clip really quick as well because it's been a few hours since I filmed, but this finally turned up. Um, it was getting to like almost four o'clock and I was just like, this magazine's not turning up because there was no sign of the postman at all. Um, but it's here. Um, it came at like half four-ish on the afternoon, which is kind of late for my post, but you know, whatever, not the point, it's here, so I just thought I'd add this to s for anyone who hasn't seen it or hasn't been able to buy it, because I know this, like, whole buying process was ridiculous, like, I tried for, like, three hours, no exaggeration, like, three hours on the Sunday night, um, when, like, the cover, I think it, like, leaked, but, um, 
like I had it up on the website um but the website was just crashed and it was it was a nightmare honestly but I finally got it at like a half eleven at night <laughs> because I was like I'm not paying like five times the price to order this from another website from like somewhere else in the world to get it shipped back when this is like a UK magazine um when I couldn't get it for like the best price you know what I mean um so yeah this is JK's Dazed magazine cover absolutely stunning um it's quite thick actually it's been a while since I've bought this magazine like it used to be a lot thinner like I think it's been about mm, I want to say like 10 years since I last bought this magazine which is like I'm like sure my age there like I was in uni when I last bought this magazine um but I'm just going to show um his photos like his article it is towards the back um but yeah these there it is these photos are absolutely stunning look so good i mean like when does he not i'm sorry for the glare here but yeah so this is the interview the article it's only like a couple of pages um which is kind of short like for a spread but never mind i think this outfit is my favorite again i really apologize for the glare but it's also got the same article but in korean which is nice um there's also like another translation of it up on their website i think um but yeah look at him god but yeah that's that's the the article um i really recommend reading it because um i will like i'll link to it actually because it's, he says some like really nice stuff um there's like a bit of about like why he like works so hard um that's just like <laughs> i don't know really got to me um but yeah uh just just a quick little aside for you all so if you're able to get this i recommend picking it up because i mean why would you not really um and then there's he's supposed to be on the cover of korean vogue for october as well so i'll be trying to get my hands on that as well um yeah so just a quick quick update uh yeah just thought i'd show this off and anyway i will see you guys later bye